Showtime with Spidey Presents. Tonight we're going to be talking about this movie right here, The Black Scorpion. I think you can hear it on the DVD player right to my left. It's got the soundtrack flaring away. And I'll show you some clips as we talk about this movie. I think we're going to turn the volume down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So you can hear me talk. Anyway, there's the cover of it. This movie has Richard Denning, Carlos Rivas, Mara Corday, directed by Edward Ludwig, special effects by Willis O'Brien. 1957, there's the edge of it right there. Wow, it's kind of a cool movie actually. It's one of the better movies that came out in the 50s. It's got a lot of really cool special effects, mainly filmed at night towards the end of the daylight, you know, because I think they wanted to kind of give more of a creepy look, you know, uh, ravaging the countryside in the, you know, late at night or, you know, whatever, late evening when it's starting to get dark, the sun's already gone down, of course. Let's look at this. We're going to open this right here. Holy crap, man. Did I already show you this? Ooh, look at that. Ah, isn't that awesome? Richard Denning, right down to my uh, fingers where they're wiggling. All the chapters. All right. Show you the backside again. Ah, Spidey's getting old. I'm probably getting senile here. <laughs> I like the cover. It's kind of really cheesy looking, but you know, it's not bad artwork. It's just straight artwork. It's not like a real photograph of the black scorpion. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's okay. Anyway, so it's pretty much about... Uh, an erupt a volcano erupts in Mexico. A giant mother... Oh, God, it's huge, man. Oh, my God. Let's turn to... Let's, let's, let's see what's going on here, man. Ooh, he's flirting with uh, Mara Corday, Richard Denny, man. He likes her. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at that guy. He's... Oh, look at that. Oh, they're going to find a little scorpion in this... A uh, chunk of amber or something. Things like a million years old, but it's still alive. Holy crap. You can't see anymore. <laughs> anyway, so basically the the black scorpions are like the size of a, a, a large house. There's lots of them. They, they, what happens, they've been buried underground for millions of years. So like colonies down there. And the eruption of the volcano frees them. Of course, they're ravaging the countryside killing villagers and attacking little cities and towns and <laughs> trains <laughs> they attack trains is actually kind of cool man these things kind of sound like dinosaurs i don't even i it really kind of a nasty fucking so, oh let's see it's still alive yeah kind of a nasty uh, roar or something like that and they're just ugly as hell they're spit dripping down drool off their faces when they come and attack people on the ground and you know <laughs> They pick them up with their pictures and they sting the shit out of them. Oh, you're you're dead, man. And you're also food. Oh, look at that. Let's watch a little bit of it. Of course, you got the little uh, obnoxious kid in this movie. He's cute, but he wants to get involved with everything. He's in serious danger because of these scorpions. <laughs> It's a cool movie. I like it, man. I, I kind of like this movie. I've seen it a few times. It's been in my collection for many, many years. And basically, it's very enjoyable. I would say it's probably about, oh, 80 minutes long or something in that general area, man. Like most of the movies back in that era, 1950s. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, the Oh, the line's fixed. Ah, the guy you're hearing is going to get, he's toast. He's up on that telephone pole trying to fix the, the power lines and the telephone lines and he gets ripped right down by a giant scorpion. It's hilarious, man. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the movie actually just kind of goes along, goes along. The scorpions are attacking more and more villages and towns and stuff like that. And they're trying to figure out, they finally figure out that these things are alive. <laughs> they, they came out of the, the fissure of the uh, recently erupted volcano, man. And it's just basically ravaging everything. The movie kind of just goes along, showing a lot of carnage and stuff like that. And Richard Denning and his buddy Carlos are just trying to 
you know, convince the townspeople that there's actually something bad happening <laughs> until you see thousands of people running in these villages down the street trying to get away from these scorpions. Uh, particularly, it's out in the, out in the, oh my gosh, this is funny, man. Well, it's actually, you got to take it seriously, too. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, get this webcam. Oh, there's, there's one right there. <laughs> ah, this is the guy that gets killed on the telephone pole. Him and his two uh, co-workers, they're trying to fix the power lines. <clears throat> Look at the scorpion, man. <laughs> Look how big those things are, man. They're actually pretty damn cool. I like these things. Oh, my God. I like how they creep towards you, man. They got all this drool dripping out of their mouth. <clears throat> Oh God! Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's just a face a mother could love, only could love. Okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, the movie just kind of goes along, goes along with these things attacking left and right, you know, and you know, and they finally word gets out that there's something roaming the countryside, <laughs> like more than one. There's like a whole bunch of them. Okay, let's do some shoutouts before we get back to this. Uh, fantastic movie. Anyway, we got to talk about Dane the Embalmer, of course, Janelle. Uh, I don't even know why I do these goddamn shout-outs. Of course, I got to talk about Robert, one of my biggest fans. He always comments on my videos. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for commenting. You're one of the few people that actually really takes the time to say, great review, more. Do Mothra. He's a big Mothra fan, so basically, he wants me to do the old classic Japanese movie Mothra, so which I will do for him because he's pretty damn nice. Okay, we got uh, Janelle. I said, Dane the Embalmer, Musty and Krusty Lice Rice, the Rice Brothers from I don't know where in the hell. Huh? They might be up in Maine now, for all I know. Holy crap, man! Let's set the volume here. It's not bad, 22, but I think we can turn it down a little bit. All right, let's see what's going on here, man. Juanito. All the goddamn horses are running for their lives. Oh, here they come, man. They're attacking the ranch. They're attacking the ranch in the outskirts of the ranch. Oh, no. Run, run. Juanito. <laughs> oh, okay, that's enough. We'll show you some clips in a few minutes. We don't want to aggravate YouTube, do we? I kind of like aggravating YouTube. Anyway, so the studio looks wonderful, right? Spidey looks wonderful. Penny did two videos last night. He posted one. I don't know what's going on. We can't find uh, Slappy, the puppet. He seems to have disappeared. <laughs> Oh my god. I took some water. I actually can drink through this goddamn thing. And I actually, uh, but it kind of like sops up my face. <laughs> okay, we already, oh, did I ever do the cast here? We already did the cast, right? Richard Denning, Carlos Rivas, Mara Corday. Oh, I already did that stuff. Doesn't matter. We're going to have the credits in the description below anyway, so you'll see who's all involved in this movie. You know, stuff like that. Now remember, please subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs up. I really would appreciate <laughs> YouTube doesn't seem to want to give me any kind of credit, man. They just keep me in the cellar like a dog begging for a bone, man. Oh, my God. It's terrible, man. We don't care. Like, uh, we, all, we just do this for fun, right? Yeah, look at that, man. All right, back to all this spectacular visuals I'm showing you. I know you love when I show you these visuals. Especially the DVD cases, which are outstanding. Anyway, we're up to about two, God, I don't know. Nine, ten minutes? Not bad. I can still rant for about eight more minutes. Anyway, so the movie kind of just goes along, goes along, goes along. The scorpions are just kind of coming out of the goddamn volcano fissure and ravaging the countryside, you know. Yeah, they finally do kill this big thing at the very end. 
there's like the giant scorpion, which is like three times as big as the small smaller ones, right? And it basically it wants dominance, so it kills all the smaller ones as the movie goes along. Because you know it's like it's like the king, basically. It's like the king. It has to have full control all of its all of its little uh, <laughs> its little puppets, man. Oh yeah. Anyway, so we don't have to work for another two days after tonight. So that's really good. So Penny might be coming back tomorrow night with his follow-up video, which he's already recorded on the uh, the webcam here. So, you know, things like that. So we're basically just thinking about uh, other types of movies. I am, at least, thinking about other types of movies to review. I mean, I got just hundreds of movies I can review. Like I said, view, like I said in the description, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to see besides uh, Mothra. I mean, I just kind of pick movies out of my collection and, uh, you know, go with it. Wing it, so to speak. So, <laughs> oh, studio looks wonderful. It lo I got the light recessed a bit, so it's not quite so bright. I wanted it to kind of give you a little more recessed light look, you know. So, I don't know, it kind of stands out a little bit nicer, don't you think? Okay, what's going on with the movie? Let's find out. I'm not hearing anything because I got my remote on. Pause. <laughs> now here's the mayor of Mexico City, and here's the priest in the in the town. They gotta flee the city or the t the the area around Mexico City because the uh, scorpions are basically just killing everybody they can they can chow on. They're just kind of ravaging the countryside, right? Hundreds of people have already been killed, you know, so basically they're trying to evacuate the goddamn area. You already saw the scorpions. Oh, they're not extinct. They're out to get mankind and multiply. Ooh, we got an expert here. He knows what's going on. Anybody could have said the same goddamn thing, man. Doesn't make any difference, man. Uh, he's just some kind of professor or something at the local university. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, you figured that one out, huh? You figured that one out. Wow, that guy should get an Academy Award for uh, that, ooh, deduction. <laughs> Anyway, this is a great movie, man. I'm making fun of it, but it's actually pretty entertaining. It's got a lot of dopey dialogue, you know, and, you know, and dopey special effects. But the special effects actually work. You know, it's actually pretty entertaining from start to finish. Uh, like I said, it's about 80 minutes long, more or less. Warner Brothers. This is a Warner Brothers uh, movie, of course. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Want to watch some more clips? <laughs> oh my God, we're, we got about five more minutes to kill so I can sit and rant about the movie. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, it's a good movie. You know, the picture quality is actually quite good on this movie. You know, it's like I said, it's more filmed than, uh, when it's kind of darkish, but that's okay because it kind of makes it more effective. You don't get to see the scorpions really super, super uh, up close in the daylight. It's more only you know, like when the sun, when the sun is starting to sh uh, pretty much set, right? You know, it's kind of getting dark outside. You know, the stars are going to be popping out pretty soon, stuff like that, you know. Oh, God, what a good movie. Like I said, I make fun of it, but, you know, I'm just doing that because I love these type of movies. Let's see what's going on. I got the volume at a certain level, 17 here. Who's this? Oh, here's that little obnoxious kid. He wants to get involved with everything that Richard Denning and his partner are trying to do. And the mayor and the professor. Mrs. Corday. I like Richard Denning. I remember him in the Creature from the Black Lagoon. You know, he was actually just an arrogant, uh, like, uh, <laughs> he gets drowned. Uh, he gets a... Uh, yeah, the creature drowns him in the in the movie, the first uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. He's been in a lot of movies. I like that guy. He's like that big, tall, blonde stud, you know, from the 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s. 
You know, women just love him. I mean, he's look at him. He's a beast, man. He's like six foot three or something. I promise what? You're gonna get the. You better get those cowboy boots for that little kid, buddy. Uh oh. What's going on here? Anyway, you know, like I said, I can't sit and show you the whole damn movie, but I can sit there and show clips when I think there's some action going on with the scorpions attacking. I mean, the scorpions, like I said, it's actually a pretty damn entertaining movie. It's got a nice soundtrack, too. Kind of suspenseful and kind of like creepy and, you know, uh, you know, just. Oh, listen. You can hear it. Uh oh. I'm not sure who did the score for this movie, but it's pretty effective. Typical 1950s movie. You know, it does have a lot of interesting sounds in it. Now, yeah, let's see what the hell's going on. Uh oh. Anyway, we're going to get to the end here. I'm not going to show you too many more clips. I think you got a general idea what the scorpions look like when they're attacking people, trains, cars, cattle, horses, all kinds of stuff. People, of course. They love to chew on people. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, they basically, what's, how much time I got left? Oh. Well, I got a couple minutes. I kind of get to right to the end. They kind of, well, the big scorpion, they think that what they did was they cave in the volcano entrance where the scorpions all came out. But unfortunately, scorpions kind of burrow. And so there's like hundreds and hundreds still down there uh, burrowing through different tunnels underneath the volcano and stuff like that. And of course, they all come flying out after uh, all these scientists think they destroyed them. Of course, they didn't. The big one and a bunch of small ones. And the big one is trying to kill all the small ones, which he does. They basically kill the big one at the very end. They kind of lured into Mexico City, into a soccer stadium, and they, they uh, hit it with a projectile in its throat, which electrifies it to death. It electrifies it, yeah. Electric. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like the way these goddamn things sound. They're really nasty sounds. They kind of remind me of giant dinosaurs. You know, all those dinosaurs uh, sounds you hear nowadays in movies and stuff like that. You know, typical, typical. All right, there it is. We going to rate this movie or watch it one more time and then I'll rate it for you. It's going to get a pretty good rating. Let's get the volume up again. See, they're going in to try to destroy that uh, that opening, but it's not going to do any good. I would explain exactly what happened just a minute ago. Well, the only way we can find out is try to go down there ourselves. Yeah, yeah, you do that. There's all kinds of giant bugs down there, too. Anyway, we'll just leave it right here as is. Okay, we're going to rate this movie. You know, I'm going to give this movie... A nine spider webs because this is actually one of the better ones that are, that's been done in that particular decade, the 1950s. So it's going to get a nine spider webs, which it really does deserve. I can't quite go ten, but nine is pretty good. Yeah. So anyway, I already told you about the ending. Of course, they kill it with the the projectile in a, a soccer stadium at the very end. The giant one just killed all the babies, so to speak, and they you know it gets a let you know they. It gets electrocuted. <laughs> and then the happy ending between Richard Denning and, uh, and Mara Corday, of course. They're lovers now, so, you know. Anyway, nine spider webs for the black scorpions. Until next time, I'll see you with another movie review really soon. So be... Comment! <laughs> yeah, we'll give it a little shot here. See you next time, buddies. Friends.